talk about. It's Corner Marie Live with Barzini. We got the best trainer in the house, Ernesto Rodriguez. Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter, the rematch. The WBC just ordered a 30-day to make the fight or it's going to purse bed. I was pretty interested to hear that news because they were saying Keith Thurman wants a tuna for being mm. out of um, boxing for so long. He suffered three injuries, a shoulder injury, an elbow injury, and a hand injury. So I was like, wow, why is the WBC mandating this fight already? And Keith already was suspected to fight a tuna. But any of the cases, I guess they're saying, well, the, what, what the rumor is, they don't want Earl to get that belt and then he will have leverage over Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman will be like, man, he don't have nothing to leverage with him because he don't have the two belts anymore. Earl Spence will have the two belts. Mm -hmm. So I think and Sean wants his revenge more than anything. So he even told me that when he came on my show, he said, man, beating Keith Thurman means more to me than beating Earl Spence. So told me that exactly everybody can see it on YouTube. But what's your thoughts on this matchup? And if it goes down, who do you think will win this matchup? Wow, that's that would be an awesome fight. Uh, um, once again, um, we we actually fought an undercard of that uh, of that first fight, and so it live on ringside. That's 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 definitely an awesome fight. I will say, you know, um, based on on the way it is now. Keith Thurman being out so long in, in activity and coming off several injuries, uh, I would say that the, definitely the, um, the edge would be to, uh, towards Sean Porter. I uh, show Sean Porter, you know, he fought last. He was active and against Garcia. He showed a lot of determination and condition. He always a well conditioned fighter. And, you know, he's awkward as we saw when he fought uh, uh, Thurman in the first fight. Uh, it was a close fight, you know, and I think it could be a close fight again. But based on the, the inactivity of uh, Keith Thurman, it could it could hurt him a bit. Um, I know these guys are top notch, world class fighters, and they know how to prepare themselves for battles, uh, twelve round battles. But you know that inactivity does hurt you, um, especially coming off injuries and layoffs. And happy life, I believe we got married, and amongst other things, you know, all of that you have to take all that in consideration. Um, and it could slow him down. I'm not necessarily saying that he he would lose the fight, but you know, it could slow him down. So I would say um, Sean Porter has a, a a slight edge in that. As far as the other thing with the the, the belts and all of that, I'm not you know not too familiar with that. I couldn't really comment on that, but. Um, you know those fights are gonna be made, man. 2019, I, I, I believe that that a lot of those fights uh, are gonna be made between uh, Sean Porter, uh, Spence, Keith Thurman, Spence. You know, 2019 is gonna be a year where um, unifications are gonna be uh, are gonna be displayed, not just the 147, but uh, other weight class such as the 154 pound division. So, you know, it's definitely. Uh, going to be a good year for boxing, it's going to be a good year for Premier Boxing Champion, Showtime Boxing. And, uh, and man, I, I'm just looking forward to being a, a part of it and actually witnessing it and hopefully be sitting ringside watching some of these great bouts uh, that are, are going to be uh, made in 2019. Mm. Well, my, my thoughts on this match, oh, man, I just got to be honest, man. It's kind of, I don't know what we're going to expect with Keith Thurman for him being out of the ring so long, but I just, Sean Porter's style, you know what I mean? You could argue that fight with Danny was a draw or, you know what I'm saying, some people got Danny winning that fight as well. You know, there's some people arguing that. I just believe, man, Keith's style with Sean Porter, man, I think he beats him every time. If Keith Thurman can be the same Keith Thurman or even come as close as the same Keith Thurman, I still have the yeah. edge 
You know what I'm saying? For a key sermon, man. I just don't believe yeah, yeah. Sean Porter has the tools to beat the top tier level, man, like Keith Earl or Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why he wants to fight Keith more because he feels like Keith being out of the rings for so long that he has the advantage. But Keith must know something. If he's going to fight him without having a tuna, there must be something in him in his confidence that he thinks he can go over Sean Porter. There's nothing Sean Porter can do to beat me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what's in his thoughts. Maybe he saw something in the Danny fight that, man, he he's no match for me. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see when the fight comes. You know, if it's yeah. going to be made, I'm not sure. I just, right. This WBC order in the fight was just really suspicious. Yeah. But like you know, man, comment, yeah. Yeah. what you was going to say next, sir? No, I was going to say that, you know, most most uh, uh, observers will look at um, Sean Porter and, and probably will make a comment such as they don't think that he's on a level or compete with these other top nuts. But I, I disagree, man. I disagree because... You know, it, it it takes a special fighter to become a two-time world champion and to compete on that level. And uh, additionally, you know, uh, Sean Porter's style is awkward, and it may not be appealing to the public uh, or boxing fans or hardcore boxing fans, but it's a different environment when you're in there fighting an awkward fighter. It may look easy from the outside. You know, he, make, he makes moves and and maybe, you know, uh, throw punches in some way. You say, oh, man, you're going to counter. But once you're in the ring with him, it's, it's a totally different ball game. And I think that's where, um, you know, um, some some fighters that, that make comments on uh, on Sean Porter's style, and, the, you know, they don't really like his style, but his style is effective uh, for him. And if you're not in shape, you're going to get dogged out. And, uh he has proven that over and over again. Uh, he's he's not easy to beat. He's not easy to fight against. Uh, you know, and you know he 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 has some good resumes, got some good names in his belt. Uh, and you know the Garcia fight, he just he just beat Garcia. I mean, it's a, it's a close fight, could have been a draw. But the bottom of the, but the, the bottom line is he won. He beat Danny Garcia and. And it was, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't the prettiest fight, but, you know, he, it, he was effective when he needs to be effective. So, um, you know, you can't count uh, Sean Porter out because he's always in shape. He has a planet chin, and he's determined and awkward. And, man, he has the perfect recipe to upset anybody, uh, including uh, Earl Spence. Um, you know, can he upset him? I don't know. You know, I, I will edit Earl Spence a little bit, but he 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 has that awkwardness uh, to upset anybody, like he just did against Danny Garcia. So, I mean, these fights these fights are, are good uh, matchups that that are that are going to be made. Uh, I know at least within uh, this side of the pond where uh, PBC Premier Boxing Champion, because they're 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 easy. Their fights are easy to be made and. Than the one against uh, Terrence Crawford, but Terrence Crawford has shown over over time that he's definitely one of the best, if not the best, 147 pounder uh, out there. So, you know, between him and uh, Spence or any of the other guy, any of the other champions, man, it's, it's gonna be awesome, man. 2019 is gonna be great. So, you know, soon we're gonna be talking about these fights. Uh, if we talk tonight, uh, talking about them, we'll soon be talking about after the fight, you know, going back and forth about the picks uh, that we that we've spoken about. So I'm looking forward to it.